Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna get with Jude Wolf here with some questions. Jude's been a technician for a long time. So we kind of came up with some questions. Um, hopefully help you guys out out there and hopefully we answer all your questions. So question number one, Jude. What tools are helpful as a technician to assist in setting up these mod motors? Well, you're gonna want screwdrivers to get into it. Uh, smaller screwdriver for adjusting the internal stroke cams, potentiometers, etc. If when we're actually going to change or adjust the stroke, um, you can just jumper R to B, R to W to drive it, but you get a lot more control using a potentiometer. It's a little fancier than some, but it's a nice enclosed box that's handy to keep in your toolbox or in your truck. And that's good for a Series 90. Series 70, you're probably going to want to have some kind of current calibrator. And this is just a super inexpensive, 100 bucks current calibrator that we like to use. But if you've got a loop controller, you can often put it in manual and drive it up and down with that as well. All right, question two. On a standard Series 90 motor, what do you jumper to make the motor open and close if, if I don't have any of these tools? Yeah, so like I was saying, you can always jumper R to B that should drive open and jumper R to W to drive closed. And if you jumper all three, it'll go halfway. So if you just unwire the R, W, and B and, and put those jumpers in place, um, you can verify that it drives and nothing's wrong with the mod motor as far as driving is concerned. Mm -hmm.